Hi, my name's Ian Goodman. I'm from Eccles, Victoria. We're at the Tatura Smart Farm uh, today uh, within in the, our Narrow Orchard Systems experimental block. I'm in front of the, the cherries. Um, uh, it's the 18th of March today and what I'll quickly demonstrate is the laying down of uh, the cordon. Um, these trees, bit of background, these trees were planted in September as a rod. Uh, we cut them back at planting. Subsequently we went through in you know, late no November, early December, uh, removed the shoots that were coming out of the, the, the top of the, the tree because they're extremely vigorous and come out a very steep angle. Uh, and the shoots that are remaining here are, are, are what grew um, subsequently. So to lay it down, I've already laid down this one on this side as you can see. Um, so I'm just going to lay down this shoot on the other side here and just put a couple of clips on the tree to, um, to hold the cordon in position. Uh, I'll probably put, put in three because uh, what might happen is that the end of this shoot will probably turn and start growing growing up like that, which is fine because that could be our um, uh, the outer uh, vertical leader from the cordon. Um, there's a couple of shoots here too that I'll just take out that we don't want anymore. And there's a, a rootstock that's coming up there which I'll chop out as well. And that's it. These are the nectarines. Uh, as you can see, this tree has got you know multiple shoots coming off where we actually cut it back to the cordon wire um, after planting. We've already been through previously and and cut some of these out above the cordon wire. Um, and as you can see, you know now in March they're they're strong enough and large enough to lay down. Um, as I said, you know, multiple shoots coming out here. We only want to pick two of them to lay down, which I'll show in a second. Uh, and also, you know, compared with cherry, we've got a lot of these um, what are called selectic side shoots coming off the, uh, the the main shoot going up going up here. Uh, but yeah, pretty simple to to just bend this over this time of year without it um, breaking and clipping it onto the onto the wire um, and I'll, I'll just put on a couple of clips and and then uh, yeah there's quite a number of those selectics that I, I want to just stub them back down the, the, the cordon and then of course we select the vertical leaders from this cordon that will be spaced at about 50 centimetres apart uh, because of the nature of the nectarines you know, fruiting on, on lateral wood and, and of course um, towards the end of that those, those laterals. So we'll space these vertical leaders at 50 centimetres apart along this wire. We're in the plum uh, in the narrow orchard systems experiment. Um, in this particular tree here again you know we purchased them as a rod. They were cut off just above the cordon wire and obviously uh, multiple shoots have arisen. We did go through like the other crops in December and, and removed uh, the um, shoots that were you know, above or close to that cordon wire. Um, I've already laid down a couple of cordons here and so these are the remaining shoots that we want to take out. So I'll, I'll quickly you know, take these out um, without cutting off the cordon by mistake. <clears throat> um, there's a, a, a sucker there which I'll cut back. Um, you can rip these out, the ones up the top there, pretty simple. Um, and of course cutting back these um, shoots, selectics that have risen off the, off the cordon. Just stubbing them back for now. Um, and you know next year of course we'll create the um, structure of the vertical leaders as and um, space them out on the on the plums 
Uh, now we're in the apple in the narrow orchards experiment um, it, and I'm going to demonstrate you know laying down the cordon uh, in this particular tree here um, it obviously again was you know cut off when we um, when they were planted and uh, any shoots coming out of above that wire have been broken off here ripped out in other words which is fine uh, but what I wanted to show here is is how this particular you know strong shoot coming up here rather than try and lay it down that way I'll actually lay it to avoid it cracking or splitting away from the main trunk I'm going to lay it, lay it down so it's crossing over um, arching it like that so that um, so that it doesn't uh, break away from the trunk of the tree and again just clipping it on um, and then uh, it's not long enough but I'll, I'll just leave that shoot there I'll lay down this one for it's pretty simple this one here just laying it down putting a second clip on here uh, a fair way along towards it because in the next month or so you know, th this will probably turn up a bit if we had it if we clipped it back here it'd come start coming up too far back which is not what we want um, and then yeah just taking out that other uh, shoot here um, and just stubbing that back and that's it. Mm -hmm.